the head-to-head -head here. Yeah, Snake versus Pac-Man. Now, I missed some of the uh, some of the matchup between Sinji and Eli, but at the same time, <laughs> here's one thing about Sinji: uh, the man is a lab monster, and there are certain characters that are. You know those sorts of unique characters, and Snake is definitely one of them. He almost doesn't feel like a Smash character to a certain degree. And Sinji loves labbing out extremely specific things for those characters. So, I'm. it'd be fun to see if we ourselves could deconstruct exactly what his approach in the matchup is going to be. Uh, but, regardless, okay, yeah, for one thing is some cute little item play might be going on here. Oh, good job rolling onto stage. And public service announcement that is a C4 on the right side of the stage. If that does in fact, oh, so, oh, but the grenade coming in clutch. I'm pretty sure Up Smash would have killed right there. And as a result, Sinji kind of having a little bit of trouble closing out the stock. He hasn't really taken much damage, but against Snake, how long <laughs> can that last? Right, yeah, lots of grenades. This is one thing that Pac-Man requires setups, you know, things like the bell, with uh, the hydrant, and we have s Bobo just constantly throwing out grenades. It's kind of messing with Sinji's ability to really get things set up. He'll come in, you know, find some, oh, little, little, uh, little hydrant. Oh my god. Okay, no, it for a second I thought it stays attached to the hydrant as it rolls along. That would be insane. Uh, that would actually be maybe ridiculous in the matchup. Why don't we patch that in? Oh, that'd be so funny. All right. Regardless, though, look at all of these hitboxes, and all of the projectiles don't mean nothing. Bobo still manages to find his way. That back throw. Oh, and the grenade is actually what seals the deal. That's going to be Sinji taking the first stock. But all things considered, decent amount of extra of, uh, sorry, like that gap has been uh, lessened because Bobo, his survivability was just so good. All right, 84 on Sinji. He's not yet at up, thrill, uh, up tilt range. Uh, once he gets there, then he has to be a little bit more frightened. But for now, he's just keeping his distance, charging his projectiles, getting his setups all set up. And Bobo is kind of struggling to find his way in. That stock lead just matters so much. Oh, and he goes for it. That was so cool. Using the water on the hydrant to help out with his own movement. The Ooh, that neutral air not quite killing, but I like that. Already Bobo has been paying attention. Realized that Sinji was air dodging on stage. Is that going to kill? It does. That was some... I don't think that was optimal DI right there. I think definitely... I think he just wasn't expecting to get hit by the forward smash. or wasn't expecting it to kill. And, oh, yeah, that's another one of those things. Those grenades really helping getting for Bobo to get out of those... Just the pressure and the combos that Pac-Man has. But he still takes the damage, and that's 74% that's been dealt onto him. Sinji is looking mighty healthy on his second stock. In the meantime, 75%. That's all that's been dealt, and trying to... Ooh, yeah, look at that. Sinji just getting out of the corner. A lot of characters can struggle with getting backstage control against Snake, but not for Sinji. Not right here. All right, that's going to be a... And he recatches the bell, and he charges it back up. That was so cool. To deconstruct what happened right there, he got the bell. He was at too high of a sort of a of a wide position to get hit by up smash. So instead, Sinji re-grabs the bell, back us at the same time, and that meant that he could just basically continue charging the bell, turn it into a key. No way was Bobo expecting that, and that key connecting off stage, sealing the game. Sinji with a with a 1-0 lead, Friendly we are, reminder, I This is a monthly, so this is so best five, 3 out of five. 5. I was just yep. about to mention this is best 3 out of 5. So Bobo has quite a bit of room uh, to learn and adapt, but Sinji, <laughs> what, what is adapting against Sinji? The man has so many tricks in his pocket. You, it's, it's just playing whack-a-mole. You're like, ah, yes, I finally realized how to deal with this one particular setup. And then Sinji's like, oh, you thought I had one setup? All right, but this game so far is starting off much better for Bobo. Oh, wow. I don't know how he didn't get hit by that hydrant right there. That was maybe some quirky snake hitboxes. Um, and, oh, and did he 
crouch. Oh man, I wish we had I wish we had HF3K's replay system. Because I'm fairly certain that Sinji actually crouched to not get hit by the C4. That hits a lot of characters from underneath the platform. Man, the awareness from Sinji. He is just constantly cognizant of where C4 is, where these projectiles are. A lot of people, they can get overwhelmed by the, you know, the barrage that Snake can unleash. But instead, Sinji is, I guess because he normally has all of these tools himself that he is paying attention to, it means that, what was that? Okay, that was some quirky stuff right there. And, oh, you gave Sinji the time to get that Galaxian. Didn't get the full combo, but that's still some solid damage. All right, Sinji at 124. In the last game, he survived until very late percent. All right. And, oh, that's going to be such big damage. If that Hydrant had connected again, that would have that would have been massive. But instead, yeah. He is at that percent threshold where down throw from Snake is a guaranteed kill. But if you're Bobo, you don't want to have to deal with Sinji getting to 160 every single stop. You need to be closing things out earlier, and right now Bobo just has not figured out the way to do that. Meanwhile, Sinji doesn't really care about having to kill early. He's just getting consistent damage. Although, speaking of damage, now he has to start thinking instead about the kill. And Bobo... Oh, surviving! Snake's just a little bit too heavy for that apple to actually do it quite yet. Oh, that's gonna come at you! Oh, and uh, yeah, you might have missed it because, uh, <laughs> because the grenade exploded, but that apple will shoot at you. Yeah, no, are you... Are you <laughs> this is... <laughs> that was silly. All right, Sinji now uh, it's 97%. Took me a while to read the number right there. And this is looking pretty good for him. And, oh, that was interesting. I actually don't know if that's an interaction that Sinji was necessarily preparing for. Uh, oh, yeah. Man, looking like a bouncy house. These trampolines are just all over the stage, and everybody's getting the hops. Okay. That Nikita, it's not going to be the strong part of it. And that means that Sinji is still alive, 152. It, this is once again going to have to be he grabs him and kills him with a down throw, probably. But now Sinji is aware of that. It's the, even the dash attack is not enough to finish it. But yeah, Bobo definitely looking for a grab that he's finally gotten him to this percent threshold. Or just throw 700 up smashes and one of them will kill. And now... Things are a little better for Bobo, but he's still at 125. And uh, Pac-Man, he... Sometimes he can struggle to kill, but Sinji has not been struggling in this game. In this entire set, he's been reliably taking out Bobo's stocks. And that Hydrant is not enough to do it, but it's still damage and stage positioning. It lets Sinji charge up that projectile. Which fruit does he have available? It's the key, and the key doesn't quite do it just yet. I think that was some good DI from Bobo, but he's at 178. Oh, and there's the apple. Yeah. It's one of the faster fruit, which makes it really good in those high pressure situations where you just need to find a kill. Throw it out. It goes at a weird angle. It bounces a few times, and it can be hard for people to really a, react to and just anticipate properly. Two of the stocks in that game were taken from Apple. Although one of them was taken because of... Uh, it wasn't so much Apple, it was more the Apple was the conduit for uh, Sinji's galaxy brain expanding outside of his body. <laughs> the Apple was simply the medium. <laughs> All right, we're going to have game three back to PS2. I'm curious why he's opting for here as opposed to small battlefield. I mean, it, I think they're pretty similar. All the stages that are competitive in this stage are all very similar so you know you can take whatever pick you want oh my all right 50 percent right out of the bat i think that bobo has been doing a good job overall of avoiding those big combo strings at those lower percents but there's only so long you can't avoid them that was actually really cool he grabbed i think because he was teching he also grabbed the grenade and the grenade exploded mid tech roll oh you're sticky 
Wait, where is it? What? Is it still on you? Oh, no, no. Okay, now it's back on Sinji. Now it's back on. Where the heck is it? Okay, there we go. Man, that was a weird game of hot potato for a second. Alright, continuing to throw out the barrage. Sinji's actually taking some damage from it. Feels like in the previous games, you know, Bubble would throw these grenades and Sinji would just carefully avoid them and charge up his fruit in the meantime. But now, perhaps, some habits are being caught onto and Sinji's struggling to actually find some footing. Does it matter if you have your fruit charged up if you... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, you can't find the position to throw it. But Sinji can... His positioning is arbitrary. That was really smart. And the movement, you saw that. Bobo, he actually went for like the raw jump to go over the trampoline and then immediately dash attacked. Bobo figuring out exactly what he needs to do in order to close the distance. Snake has some pretty decent burst options. And I... What was that Uno reverse card? <laughs> <laughs> what even killed right there? All right, Bobo looking pretty good. This is the first time he's taken a stock, and this is something where S Snake with a stock lead is so hard to deal with. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if now we just see Bobo winning this game because he managed to finally kill Sinji before he died himself. Depends all if Sinji can take him out quickly. But 151. He's looking for back airs, and that C4 does so much damage. Even the apple's not enough. All right, that key will definitely do it, though. Sinji finally finding the answer, and now with Galaxian in hand, Bobo has to be careful. If that Galaxian connects in the right spot, it could be big damage. Instead, it only does about 10%. Bobo still has the lead here, which means he can still play to that lead if he so desires. And right now, he's seems less inclined to do so than I would expect, especially against a player like Sinji. Oh, I, no, I didn't know it was there, and Sinji definitely didn't either. That C4, it's big damage, and, oh, but the damage is going both ways, and I think for Sinji... Okay, now we're at up to a kill percent. I was going to say that the percentage maybe ma matters a little bit less, but now this is very relevant. Oh, he went for it. You saw that. Just went for a single jab and was looking for the roll, but he didn't get the turnaround. But there it is, the up tilt finding its mark. 86% on Bobo. This is a pretty healthy position for him to be in. All right, and just once more, it's a deluge of explosives. Sinji managing to just tread water, though, and get past it. He needs to find a way to actually end the stock. Really good parry right there. That bell does bounce for quite a while. And, oh, that was sneaky. Upper's not enough to do it. That is a weak, weak aerial. It's good for comboing, good for racking up damage. It's not great for finishing off stocks, though. And that's really what Sinji is aiming to do right here. Okay, good back air. And there I was just, okay, I was decrying that up there just a second ago. But yeah, I guess at 165% at the very top of the stage, it will finally do what needs to be done. All right. Good position right here. Oh, and Pac-Man having better frame data really helps out that neutral air. I believe it's frame three. Bobo doesn't have anything like that quite at that speed in those uh, situations where they both get launched from a grenade. Oh, he did not expect the explosion. That was a buffered side B. He was just thinking that he was going to be frozen in place from the bell. Again, the grenades helping avoid the, uh, the setup truly coming to fruition. But now 157%. He's recovering super high. Sinji actually gives him the space instead of opting to use that time to charge the bell. It's in hand. No, it's actually key. You see him flashing. He throws out the key. But great evasion from Bobo. He dodges it. Now 166%. So many options that Sinji has will kill, but he has to find them. Another one of those apples. He gets the up tilt on the platform with that elevation. It's actually enough. Bobo getting a game on the board. What a great comeback. I, uh, I like the adaptation. And really, what mattered for Bobo in that game 
the ability to kill. He was finding up tilts. He wasn't getting those up tilts before. And a lot of those up tilts were kind of from hard reads. I mean, right there, he's a, knowing that he can't just go for safe things, especially at kill percent. Yeah, grab at 160 is pretty reliable, but you do not want to let Sinji be at 160% every single stock. Pac-Man with all of his just... With his A, good damage at lower percents, and B, the fact that he has so many projectiles, you're going to be taking damage. It's hard to just completely evade everything that Pac-Man has at his disposal. So when you when he's surviving to really late percents, it's gonna you're going to hurt, you're going to bleed. And instead, Bobo looking for harder reads, and those up tilt kills, it made the difference. All right, Sinji being a little bit more aggressive than we've seen him in the past few games. This is something that he does. Uh, a lot of people just assume, oh, it's Pac-Man. Oh, it's Sinji. He's going to be camping out the entire game. He's going to be, you know, just going for his setups. But when the opponent gets comfortable just expecting that from him, that's when all of a sudden he turns up the aggression. Pac-Man still has really good buttons. Forward air is an amazing pressure tool. We've already seen that neutral air and up air have really good frame data on them. And so when Sinji wants to, he can close gaps and get damage out there. That's what we're seeing again with the, I love that also, Sinji, this time recognizing that the uh, the grenade was going to cancel out the stun from Bell. Instead, got back down to the ground, charged that down smash to cover the landing. And he still has it, and he charges it up just a little bit. He's going to want to get that Bell once more. Oh, but the grenade and the what just happened? What an amazing turnaround. It's the second time we've seen that from Bobo. He's the one in the bad spot. No. Oh, I don't even know when he got the C4 on him, but he even confirmed it into the up air. All right, and let's see what he can do with this lead. Yeah, Sinji's going to be looking for... I think Key is going to be one of the main tools. Yeah, you see him tossing it out there. The self grenade, not enough to kill just yet. And up air, it's no. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah, that up air needs to be done, like, right next to the blast zone for it to actually kill. But Sinji is able to chase up there and find that. Okay. Oh, let's see this right here. Oh, but the grenade cancels out what could have been a really good combo from Sinji. As it stands, Bobo, despite taking the first stock, he is down right now. 61%, but he's being much more reliable at, you know, he'll take 160, but then he finds the kill first. That's extremely determinative, and let's see if Sinji can maybe avoid that. You know, now with the consistent kills, it seems like he's the one who has to figure out how to do it. I also kind of like that. I feel like he drops the high turn right on the C4 just to bait Bobo into uh, blowing up. Because it is very tempting to blow up the uh, the high turn when it's... Again, the up tilt on the platform. These early kills. All of a sudden, it's looking like Bobo might take Sinji to a game five. Man, this is one of the advantages of the monthlies and the fact that we do top five for... I think it's all of top eight. Or oh, sorry, best of five for all of top eight. You can see the adaptation and big comebacks might happen. Seems like that's what Bobo is doing right now. Can he actually find a way to get more damage? And Wake back air is not really going to do it. And that bell is he... Oh, and he misses the up air. I don't think that would have killed regardless, but it would have been some nice damage. Oh, I like that. Using the grenade to clank. And that's that. Sorry, that the key is once more what's charged. Did you kind of wall him out? I think that Bobo might... Yeah, yeah. He's he's gotten punished a few times for charging in. I think he's going to want to opt to throw grenades. Oh, right as I say that. Yeah. Oh. All right. That's going to be an F tilt to finally kill with the hydrant blowing up at the same time. Oh, Nikki, that almost killed! Yeah, he's looking for up tilt. Uh, he, we haven't really seen up smashes on the, uh, at the ledge. That's partially because Sinji hasn't been getting trapped at the ledge as much. But also, I think Bobo realized that that was not necessarily the best way to uh, deal with Sinji's uh, recovery. 
Okay, let's see how this progresses. Bobo with a slight disadvantage. Oh, but just like that, now he's the one with the lead. Now a lead matters a lot. We do have two and a half minutes on the clock, so we're probably not going to be seeing a timeout, but it still dictates who has to approach. And 110. Oh, this is so scary. He actually got him stickied. Oh, what a beautiful play from Bobo. Oh, and you saw him. He was jumping in right there, getting caught a lot of times by Sinji, but he mixed it up instead, dropping the C4. Definitely Sinji was not anticipating it. And Bobo bringing this all the way to a game five. I thought this was just going to be a clean sweep. Sinji, he's seeded first in the tournament, right? But all of a sudden, I mean, the last two games, the fact that now Bobo has been ending stocks early, it's... It is a difference maker, and let's see how Sinji will be able to adapt because now he's the one who's pushed to the brink. His back is to the wall. He had that lead, and now it seems to be gone, so let's see if uh, he can make the changes necessary or whether he's going to get this reverse 3-0 dished out on him. All right, Sinji with a bit of a lead. Okay. The game plan has shifted. Sinji instead opting to stay in the corner a lot more. And on top of that, he's going off stage in order to get those fruit. And where are you? Oh. Oh my god, you're dead. Oh, yeah, you go. Get up attack is not the answer. And that's such an early stock. Oh, we've seen Bobo been able to make some comebacks happen so far, but not when he loses the first stock. That's really been what it comes down to. Oh, but he snipes it. Ah, yeah, but the recovery on the up B is just a little bit too high. Going for it. Oh! Ah, but Sinji doesn't die from it. That was a very interesting trade, but now as a result, Bobo's kind of struggling to find ways to kill that up tilt, just barely missing. And Sinji, okay, look at that. He's not jumping in his face. He knows that up tilt is the biggest threat to his life right now. And as a result, he's going off stage. He's not jumping. He's going underneath the platforms when Bobo is on them. Look at that. There's another one. The bell not able to actually get the kill because of that grenade once more. Uh, and the self-destruct right there, literally. And now we're seeing these up smashes. I was saying before how he wasn't going for them because they didn't seem to be working. And I think that maybe reverting back to that is a bit of a desperation play. Yeah, Bobo, he just wants to kill. He just wants it so badly. He managed to bring this all the way to a game five. And it looks like all of that hard work was for nothing. Oh, and even with the parry, Pac-Man's aerials are so safe. He's looking for the grab, I think, with maybe a few pommels. Down throw should actually get the kill. He just needs to find it, and he needs to find it without taking damage, and oh my god. <laughs> Sinji. All right, that should be it, yep. Just going to go for the F tilt with that kind of stage positioning. And now Bobo finally taking that first stock, but he has two more that he needs to take care of. And one thing we've seen from Sinji, it's so hard to avoid all of these hits. And it's so hard to cheese him with an early kill. Pac-Man has one of the best disadvantage states in the game. He's going to have to make some crazy hard read. Like, legitimately, maybe an F smash. <laughs> if he gets a forward smash, then perhaps he can keep this uh, even. But Sinji, he's playing too careful. Yeah, he's not putting himself in a position where he, where he can even get hard red. And instead, the damage, it grows and it grows. 81% on Sinji. There are possible ways that Bobo can kill him right here. Oh, but he didn't actually get sticky and since he was able to shield it. 109%. And it's growing. Oh, beautiful job with that grab. That's the only thing that at that range could actually hit Bobo. And oh, the latest hit in the world still does it apparently. All right. That's going to be Sinji snatching the momentum completely from Bobo, still takes the set, but with a 3-2 very close in the end.